Hello everyone, in this episode of Military TV, we're going to see a discussion about China as a country with the largest navy in the world. Beijing is rushing ahead with an ever-increasing shipbuilding capacity. Can Washington at least keep its technological edge? Before watching this video, don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any suggestions of certain topics to discuss in the next videos. The Chinese Navy is already the largest in the world with more than 350 ships, including a fast-growing fleet of destroyers, carriers, and submarines. This reality continues to raise concern and make an impression upon Pentagon and Navy weapons developers. According to the Pentagon, the People's Liberation Army Navy plan has 350 Battle Force ships as opposed to the U.S. Navy's 293 ships. While the U.S. Navy is far larger by tonnage, that advantage could be erased given China's frantic shipbuilding schedule. But according to the Pentagon's latest reports on Chinese military power, released Tuesday, September 2, 2020, the People's Liberation Army Navy plan is now the largest navy in the world, with an overall battle force of approximately 350 ships and submarines, whereas the U.S. Navy currently has 293 ships. By the end of 2020, the Chinese Navy will have 360 vessels and the number is set to keep going up," said Chad Bruguia, Deputy Assistant Defense Secretary for China. There is certainly more to naval power than ship counts, he said in a call with reporters Tuesday. This is a long-term challenge and it's not only demarcated by a single metric of number of vessels. While China's growing fleet is already much larger than the U.S. Navy's 293 ships, some Navy leaders and observers make the point that pure numbers may not ultimately be the measure of superiority. The Pentagon report does make this point, yet with the clear caveat that China's emerging fleet size is indeed concerning. There is certainly more to naval power than ship counts, total counts of the Chinese vessels, there's tonnage. But for and but, I would also draw your attention to weapon systems. And it's important to highlight the Chinese shipbuilding advantages in terms of its size of fleet, the report states. China's internal shipbuilding apparatus is, according to the report, concerning. Over the last three decades, the Chinese military has enjoyed double-digit growth in defense spending. The rise of the Chinese economy has allowed the country to spend much more on its armed forces without spending a greater portion of the gross domestic product. In fact, the defense budget has grown by about six-fold in the last six decades, with an emphasis on modernizing combat forces and building out power projection capabilities, particularly the Chinese Navy. The Pentagon's 2020 military and security developments on the People's Republic of China says the plan is numerically the largest navy in the world, with 350 battle force ships, or ships that are able to contribute to combat operations. This includes 86 missile patrol boats, 49 corvettes, 53 frigates, 32 destroyers, one cruiser, 52 nuclear and conventionally powered attack submarines, four nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, 58 major amphibious ships, and two aircraft carriers assigned to the northern, eastern, and southern navies, with the other 100 ships assigned elsewhere. China launched its first aircraft carrier, Liaoning, in 2012, recently completed a second and is currently building a third. Amphibious ships that can ferry troops across the Taiwan Strait are growing larger and more capable. Although China is still investing in smaller patrol boats and corvettes, useful for coastal defense, it's bulking up on ships of destroyer size and higher that can challenge the U.S. and Japanese fleets in the Western Pacific. Despite all this, however, the Chinese fleet is still smaller than the U.S. Navy in one key metric, overall tonnage. The overall weight of all the ships in the Chinese Navy is about 1.8 million tons, though that number is slightly dated and might even be up to 2 million tons. The U.S. Navy, on the other hand, weighs in at a whopping 4.6 million tons. Several factors account for the disparity. China's fleet still includes nearly 140 missile boats and corvettes for coastal defense, including the Type 022 Hubei class missile boat and Type 056 Jiangdao class corvette. The U.S., surrounded by friendly neighbors and thousands of miles from any conceivable adversary, 
doesn't even bother with coastal defense ships. U.S. Navy ships in general, from submarines to aircraft carriers, are also typically 10 to 20 percent larger than their Chinese counterparts. But the U.S. Navy's real edge lies in its big deck aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. The Navy has 11 aircraft carriers of 100,000 tons or more and nine WASP and America-class amphibious transports, not including the USS Bonham Richard gutted in July by a major fire. China has two carriers of about 60,000 tons and is only now building out its first amphibious transport, the Type 075. China's entire low-end fleet, its force of 137 missile patrol boats and corvettes, doesn't even add up to a single American aircraft carrier in tonnage. Still, China has made impressive gains over the past four decades and continues to play catch-up with the U.S. Navy. The plan has fielded two aircraft carriers and will likely build a force of six to eight, which should add up to a considerable narrowing of the tonnage gap. The plan will almost certainly build more Type 075 amphibious ships, and there are reports of a new Type 076 assault carrier. China is building ships so fast that the Pentagon report can't even keep up. The data in the new report is eight months old, but by late last month, China had launched an additional two new Type 052D destroyers and two Type 055 cruisers. China may never catch up with the U.S. Navy. The country's economy is expected to slow as demographics and socioeconomic reforms will slow defense spending, but China may not even need to keep pace. Unlike the U.S. Navy, China's Navy isn't saddled with global commitments that require ships in Europe, the Middle East, Central and South America, and elsewhere. China only needs to match America where it matters, and for now, that's the waters of the Western Pacific Ocean. So the Chinese Communist Party has become increasingly confident of achieving its goal of having a world-class military by 2049. A key component has been China's continuing maritime buildup from its surface forces to ballistic missile submarines. Want to see more awesome videos? Don't wait, visit my channel and click now.